How to use Docs for Beginners Google Docs Tutorial Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys everything that you need to know about Google Docs, which is a very underrated tool because we all gravitate towards using Word as our primary documentation tool. We actually forget the utility of using Google Docs and how it can be a great way for you to write your assignments, documents, and all other types of documentation. So let's get started. For this, you're just going to head on over into your Google account then click on this Google Apps icon on the top right. Once you do that, you can scroll down and then click on Docs to enter Google Docs. Now Google Docs has been opened up. Now over here, you will have a navigation pane when you click on the top left and you can scroll between Google Sheets, Slides, Forums, and Docs. Then on the top, you have a template gallery. You can click on the template gallery option to see all the different types of templates available. So Google has templates for resumes, letters, personal templates, work templates, as well as sales templates, legal templates. They also have freelancer engagement templates, HR templates, templates and many other templates available. So you can actually use one of these pre-built templates to write any of your documentation. Now below that you will have a recent document section which allows you to browse all of your documents. Additionally, if you are added into a document as a uh, invitee, you can also view them simply by clicking on the owned by anyone tab. This would show you all of the documents that you've viewed in Google Docs. Now let's get started with creating our first doc. To do that, just click on blank document on the top left. Once you do that, you're going to title your document. So click on the top left where it says untitled document, and I'm just going to name this my sample doc. Now a recently introduced feature within Google Docs is how you can create multiple different tabs in one document. For example, if I am building a SOP document, instead of having one really long and extensive page and page and page, instead I can break it down into different tabs. To create these tabs, you can go on to the left where it says document tabs. Then I can click on these three dots and then choose to rename my first tab. Let's say my first tab is going to be about how to process returns. Now I can click on these three dots and I can also choose an emoji to represent them like this. And I'm just going to be using a arrow. Then I'm going to click on add tab and then click on these three dots again and then rename it to processing refunds like this. And I'm going to change the first one as well. So I just wanted to say processing returns and I'm just going to change this. And the way that this works is that whatever I type over here and over here are going to be two separate tabs. However, they would be present under the sample document. Now to get started with writing, first off, you can click on the top bar to edit the text style. You can add normal text, title, subtitles, and different types of headings. You can also click on options on the bottom, and then you can reset styles into their default way. Then you can go ahead and edit the styles that you have. So for example, I like to use New Times Roman. I'm going to select that, make my font size 12, because that's usually what I use for APA. Then I'm going to go into heading, and then I'm also going to change the font to New Times Roman, and like so. Once I've done that, what I can do is I can go on ahead and click on the normal text, click on options, click on use my default styles, and then I will save this as my default style and this will be applied whenever I am creating a new document. Now I'm just going to use ChatGPT to write some basic docs so I can show you guys how to edit. Write a generic about how to refund an order like this. After that, what you can do, so I'm just going to fill in some content in my doc like so. Copy this and then paste it over here. Now, to alter any of the elements present within a doc, you can simply highlight them or you can type in your elements. You also can add these dividers or remove them. To add any of these dividers, simply click on insert on the top left. Once you click on insert, you can add images, tables, drawings, charts, horizontal lines, which are our dividers. You can also add emojis as well as smart chips. Smart chips can allow you to add a certain date. So like this, a date from a calendar can be added like so. 
instead of this being a generic value that you have added or typing out a date, the value could be connected to your Google Calendar and you can actually book a meeting or set up an event for that particular date. Additionally, you can also place placeholder chips. So if you have variable data and let's say we have to locate the order or get confirmation from manager, and I'm not sure which manager we're supposed to get confirmation for. So we would just click on insert, click on smart chips and add a placeholder chip for a person. So later on, when I do know which person we are supposed to get approval from, I can select their name like so. Now, after that, in your insert tab, you even have the additional option to add a drop down. So if I want, I can go on ahead and proceed with different statuses within a particular line. For example, if I am writing something like locate item from warehouse, and then I can add a drop down over here and I'm going to click on new drop down. And this is going to be my warehouse names. And option one is going to be makeup, clothing, or makeup warehouse, or clothing warehouse, or any other option. I'm just going to keep it at two. And then I can also add different colors to denote the two options and then click on save. And just like that, people can actually change from the drop down. And this allows you to have some really nice documents that are filled with data, not only just simple text. You can also go on ahead and add e-signatures, but this is a feature available only on the premium Google Workspace. You also can switch between different tabs by going into the document tab option. And if you want your full screen view, you can just close the tabs from here. You can also include watermarks, headers and footers, page numbers, and add page breaks. And you also have generic comment sections, bookmarks, and table of contents. Now, Google allows you to basically generate your own table of contents by your default values. So when you're looking to generate a table of content, make sure to structure your document in a form where any of your headings are added in the form of heading. Your general text is added as normal text. This is a subheading. So if I want this in my table of contents, I will actually add this as a heading. You can change the heading style as well. That doesn't matter as long as it is added as a heading. Now, if I go on ahead and click on insert and add my table of contents like so, this is added. And just like that, you have all the features that you would normally use in other tools directly added in one space. And the benefit of using Google Docs is that this is on the cloud. So I can access this document from any computer without having to worry about bringing my own desktop, PC, laptop, or my own devices everywhere. Now, with Google Docs, everything is auto saved on the top right, and you can actually go into your version history. You can move towards a previous version of a doc as well. Not only that, but you have different formatting tools and spelling and grammar checks as well. You can also include citations and have voice typing in Google Docs as well. Now, once you have completed your doc and you want to share it, just click on share on the top right and you can invite people based on their email. You can add them as editors, viewers, or commenters, or you can even build a shareable link by clicking on general access and building a shareable link. And just like that, you can now get started with Google Docs. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.